Hey, this is Grant Percet talking about who designed the designer. Well, Richard Dawkins, arguably the most influential atheist of our day and the blind watchmaker said, biology is the study of complicated things that give the appearance of having been designed for a purpose. But even though they look that way, if you believe in God, or a designer, you are deluded, as he says in The God Delusion. Well, how can we respond to this? Well, I'm going to steal information from someone much smarter than me, William Lane Craig, in his book On Guard. Great resource for you if you want to defend your Christian faith and make sense of these arguments. He says, number one, we don't have to know about the cause to know there's a cause. He explains, let's just say there's an astronaut in the future that goes to Mars and he finds intricate met metallic machinery. Do we have to know everything about who made it to know that somebody caused it, an intelligent being caused it? No, we don't. So that's number one. Number two is the idea that if you have to know the cause of the cause and you would have to know the cause of that cause, you quickly have an infinite regress and you would never come to the conclusion about anything. Well, in my opinion, you've got two choices. Either the universe is eternal and does not need a cause or God is eternal and doesn't need a cause. Because whatever begins to exist needs a cause, but if something doesn't have a beginning, it doesn't need a cause. Well, what is the view of modern cosmology? It's called the Big Bang or the standard model that says the whole universe sprang into existence at one point in time, a finite time ago. This is amazing. This is what science is saying right now. People are trying to get around it with multiverse theory or other theories that I'm going to go into in other videos. But right now, the dominant view is the universe has a beginning and therefore needs a cause. Well, if we posit a God who has existed eternally, he does not need a cause. So Richard Dawkins has made really a first year philosopher's mistake. Brilliant biologist. That doesn't mean he's a brilliant philosopher, because it turns out he's really not. Nothing against Richard Dawkins. I don't know him, have not met him. Um, so this has been Grant Percet talking about who designed the designer. If you want more information like this, subscribe to Grant for Truth. I'll link some of the information and sources below. So go for God, give him heaven, and I will talk to you next time.